Check, check, hello. Can you read me? Buck Thunder. Buck. Buck off. Oh, it's me, Phil, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2, Xeno Slaughter. Another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them. Just kill them all, Buck. That's, that's the game. Buck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. This is the second game. You know how to do all this shit. All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get over there. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double jump. Just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fucking scheduling and scoping bullshit. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, who, who are these people above us? All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex-wife's new alien boyfriends. There they are. Come right at you. Just shoot them, Buck. You remember how to shoot? That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. I love you, Buck. You're so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea. You're my favorite client. All right, Buck, just open that door. It's so fucking easy. Just press the right button. This is just the tutorial part. It's easy. It's... Oh my god, Buck, you did it. You opened the door. You're a fucking genius. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way, your divorce attorney. Don't forget, I'm Phil, your divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex-wife. landed in your ex-wife's backyard. She fell in love with the leader, and it turns out they're all a hive mind, so she's fucking all of them. What are the odds? I know that's probably what you're thinking, but just get out there and kill a buck. It's all you can do. Over and out. goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip. You know they were pissed, right? Whatever, we got the place to ourselves now. Oh my God, don't give me that look, narc. What are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? <laughs> it's fine. Mom and dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on, try some. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I what? Ugh, finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. So, do you want any or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings, and Dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, Mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store.
You come in or what? Come on, I don't want to carry it all myself. So, I guess... Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. I knew aliens were real. Shun, I want a ha. She told hit that one. Hello, what? One. Can you understand what they're saying? Oh shit, look. It's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that, um, what's it called? Uh, dementia. Oh, what's going on out here? Martha, is that you? Oh my god. Oh my god. What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Cho, Machita, wanna go? Human de tanda, ula ba giwa la kanga ma. Ah, da e, ya, so Isa, wote kwa Wuhan. Out of me. It's the metal thing stuck in me. Just pull it out. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. These two, three guys are going to turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because, you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those G3 grunts, you, you know, they're going to fucking kill us. Fuck yeah! All right, first kill! I am so glad you picked me up. L let's keep going. Not bad, alien. Not bad at all. Let's head to that base. We got a warp base. Well, here you go. It's a G3 warp base. Okay, let's just clean house and warp out of here. You, you, you know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you, and me as well, and, and I, I, I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a voice here. I have a choice in this. Oh shit, it's a merc! They're tougher! It's letting human into the base. Okay, the warp drive should be at the top. That's where it always is in shit like this. Just keep going. Keep going up to the top. God damn! supposed to happen. <laughs> Yeah. Now grab the warp drive. We'll use this to warp the hell off this doomed planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, your planet is doomed right now. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Do, do you have something back at your house? Yeah, you know, do you live in one of these huts around here? Take us there, because we gotta move. We gotta move for food. I've been waiting my whole life. I'm done waiting. You cannot take on the aliens all by yourself. Of course I can. This is all. Listen, bring me up close to your face so you can aim better. It's my destiny. Perfect, perfect. Now just look down the sight. Fire. You're doing great by the way. Oh, I'm proud of you. You need some more encouragement? Here, uh, that's my little G3 killer. Oh, look at you, G3 killer. I am the ultimate hero. Here that emits 
I don't know, microwaves? I know it's a lot to ask. What, like a fucking microwave? Oh, whoa. I can understand your gun now. Translator microbes are contagious, but can please just move past all this shit? Another planet? Yeah, keep up! We'll be safe here! Now take me outside! Whoa, whoa, you're just gonna leave me here in, in what, space? Are we, are we in space? Yeah, sorry, I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we gonna get back to Earth? Uh, we can't. That was a one-way trip. We don't have the coordinates to your planet. Then what about our parents and everyone else? Look, we left because we're trying to save them. That, that, that's why we need Gene. So, so can we please go find him? You're going out there? Into space? Yeah! Welcome to fucking space! So, this is Blim City. Not, not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene, though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just, let's just ask. He, he is famous. Yeah, we can't get inside that lug locks without something really sharp. Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this, this guy? No. No, no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Uh, hello? Get away. They'll take my shit. Oh my god. It can't be. What do you want? You're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. Huh. We were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home! Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. Ah, damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? Uh, but you just said... Maybe the... Pff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's, that's convenient. Yeah, I can turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die... I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, Harry kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? Oh, you look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. 
Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Gene Zaruthian. It's me, Sudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current object. Perfectimundo, everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Uh, okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. Ooh, whoops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are gonna keep coming back non-stop. Uh, that's just gonna keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. You, you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You, you, you got this. equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sort of. It could be cool. What's up, freak? Jorb, greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keep's dipshit. We're your friendly neighborhood pie shop. Buy something or don't, nobody even cares. Jorb! I'm so sorry. Jorb is insane. Come on up to the counter. Let me help you out. Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back. A bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star. All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it, you'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I can't say the name of the button because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. Pee on me. God, please, don't let it turn to night again. The coyotes pee on me. Huh, there's, there's little guys coming out of your house, that, okay? Hey! Nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? 
They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So, do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's gonna help, sure. I'm sorry, everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down, so I don't know what's weird or not anymore. Hey, I, I don't like getting up to take shit, so I'm just gonna shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but... Just a heads up. Like that. Was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. Your mom's nice. Anyway, come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. So what? We just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at Glumpies without a level 4 fuck pass, do they? What? I, I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. Shit. Normally that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the Bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, Bounty Hunter. Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. L listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? City Magistrate Clug Nugman and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply... Again. You sure you're not tired? Poisoner. And the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly... Hey! Citizens. Don't even think about going down to the slum. Yeah! This is a maintenance only shaft, so scram! Okay, hey, uh, kid, uh, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on! So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then shed a little bit for oh, us. Come on, come on, don't, don't, don't make him answer this, no, man. I want to know! It's fine, we'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? I guess the red guy. Whoa, seriously? Okay, come on. You, you don't gotta say that just to make him feel better. He's a big boy. He can take it if you think he's way uglier than No, me. no, no. They said me. They picked me, dude. They picked me, not you. They picked me. They said I was hotter, not you. <laughs> well, it's true. Look at you. I'm not a liar, man. I never lied in my life. I look at you and I see Bill. No, well, well, that's not what they said. They said I, they picked me. I, they said I was hotter. I, did you say that? Listen, we're not switching around here. We picked the red guy. That's the direction we're moving in. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you so much for that changing. I really thought you were going to flake on me. Nah. Thank you. Nah, fuck you. Change your mind right now. Pick me instead. This is insane. I am so much hotter. You, you need to chill out, all right? They picked me, and that's final. That's a final pick. If you want to throw a fit, do it on your own time. Just let me have this one time, man. Hey, thanks for being honest. Look, don't tell anyone, but you can go through my door anytime you want from now on. Our little secret. Free passage in and out of the slums. Wow, thank you. you. You have no idea how helpful that is. Well, my door's locked forever. You made an enemy today. You're never, ever gonna get to use my door. Well, you know what? That's fine, because we have this other door that works just as well. I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's a topsider. Not interested. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. Well, 
well, <laughs> look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, fucking kid. What's wrong, fresh meat? You scared of a little kid? Ah, yeah, I'm a little kid. Look at me. Look at me. Ah, you're scared of me? Oh, I'm scary. Not. <laughs> well, maybe I am. <laughs> Look at me. I'm scary. No, we just want to get past. Come on. Let's see what you got, fresh meat. If you can't handle me, how are you going to deal with nine Torg's goons? Don't let them get to you. <laughs> Look at fresh meat getting flustered by a little kid. Just ignore him. Hey. Suit looks dumb. You look like a fucking attention, uh, dumb citizens. idiot. <laughs> you are wearing an unregistered bounty. Shit, shirt. we gotta Prepare take down to these drones. Oh. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Come on, he's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Uh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to just because you're your little gun. Uh, I am not shooting a kid. Go ahead, do it. Shoot me, Fred. Oh, am I supposed to be impressed? You shot all the drones? I could have done that with my eyes closed. Fuck you, fresh meat. You Suck. Hey, shit for brain. Hey, get back here. Fresh meat. I'm not done with you. You must have met my son. He calls everyone fresh meat. Thanks for not shooting him. Things have been really hard since his annoying dad got shot and killed. It's been hard because even though my annoying husband is gone, my son is still so annoying, too. So go ahead and kill him if you really want to. I'm not gonna stop you. I'd love to not have any annoying family members left. Hey, you can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turn. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg. Get lost, shit heel. You're never gonna get to Nine Torg. You have to get through all our trusty foot soldiers first. Watch it. You hey, think you're gonna you show it? What the fuck? Holy shit! You just killed Jason. Jason's dead. Oh shit, here we go. We're gonna have to kill some of these Torg foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. What are you, some kind of bounty hunter? The slums are full, asshole. Yeah, this is nine Torg turf. The coolest turf. Shit, they're shooting at us. Come on, shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's gonna be so easy. Nine Torg trained us real good. We're the toughest enemies in the game, I think. aren't so hostile. Something must be going on. L let's look around for somebody who can help us. So you, you think maybe there's somebody friendly around here who can help? I mean, maybe try using your scanner, uh, uh, you know, on your, on your, on your suit. Like, I'm so, so lonely over here. I got all this great information I could share. Just sitting here, fishing away, waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff. I'm just gonna whistle to myself for a bit now. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it? It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. So, uh, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right. Duh, of course. Of course. Sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious, yes. So, have you caught anything? No. Never have, never will. 
No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes, wow, okay. TMI maybe, a little bit. Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Nine Tor? Quiet. She's got ears everywhere. Or antennae. Whatever ants here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? <laughs> what about the other eight Torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine Torg is... It's a counter? There's nine Torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> This month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg before they killed her. Now, nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. Do you know how we can get to nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those platforms. Come on, come on, give it a shot. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does this. Boy, you are learning a lot today, aren't you? Yes! Yes! Oh, oh my god, I could do this all day. D doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big poopy blobs. Hold up, don't shoot. I, I got an idea. It's another trick up my little slimy sleeve. Try hitting him with my glob shot. Take your time and aim right. Whoa, perfect shot. You fucking nailed it. How sick was that? Whew, okay. I got a recharge. It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby. You know, my, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. Oh shit, here come more guys. Go nuts. Use my glove shot and then just shoot them in, in the air and juggle them. And it'll, it's gonna look sick, I promise. Keep shooting them while they're in the air. You can juggle them and it does more damage and it looks cool too. Ah, sorry. Yeah, no, my glove shot takes a little longer to recharge when we're in combat. My, my body's all tense during a fight, you know? My muscles aren't loose. It just oh, it takes longer to recharge. I guess the party isn't over yet. I never considered I never that I die. 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 This is it. This is it. Looks like he was die clean only. Hey, careful with the merchants. Whoa, 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 hold up a bit. Let's listen. Up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Jean's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough. Of yeah. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey, hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to, uh, buy, buy a knife? You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, great. Go ahead. Feel free to inspect it. Try him out. See how he feels in your hand. Oh. 
Fuck yes, thank you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knifey. Now use me, use me. Let me fucking stab this cocksucker. Oh, fuck. Fuck yes. More, more. I need more stabbing. Hey, you, listen. Point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now. Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene, so I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Yeah, there we go! Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge! Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. So you, uh, mentioned that Jean gave you to Nine Torg? Gave? Try gamble me away in a game of space- Oh, a lug lock! Excuse me! I can open those fuckers up real good! And there's loot inside for you too! Win-win! Oh, yes! What happened to Jean? Didn't he used to be a hero? Yeah, used to be. Hard to tell these days, right? Towards the end, the only thing I was cutting for him was sandwiches. Not even the good ones. Peanut butter sandwiches. And no fucking jelly. Not even like ham or anything good. Oh, they look stabbable. Use me on him. I want Oh, they look. Oh, yes. Oh, do this every time. Never buy your Gatlian again. Please, just use me for killing now. Making a knife for your only any percent run. Oh, hey, there's some Gatorol. That, 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 that'll fill me back up. Whoa, thank Jesus. Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. Feed me the Gatorol! What's wrong with you? Don't you know how, well, uh, don't you know how important that is? Oh, mamma mia! That's the stuff! Oh, sludge works! Nightsword should be here! Sometime it, it, it might kill you though, that's the only thing. Oh, we wow, I feel really powerful. Do you feel powerful? We're unstoppable. Bloodlust? Am I feeling bloodlust right now? Oh yeah, mate, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're getting it? Oh man, I guess I am. Night Torg must be close. Let's ride this wave and kill her too. I wanna fuck her up real good. My trick hole's ready for you. Let's glob them. You know damn well the 
this isn't sanitary and, and it hurts like fuck. over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get Nine Torg. Any last words, Five Torg? Is that Nine Torg talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg! You know, Seven Torg said the same thing. Right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this! Horizontal. Bye, Gordon. 
I'm taking you with me! Sh just stay alive! I think she's basically done for! Here we go! Hunter, I, I feel pretty good. I, I, I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of her. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat, but since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of bounty hunters don't know that you've got to bring back proof of the kill to get paid? Oh, God. Oh, don't be such a goddamn baby. I'll do all the messy work. Just go up to a corpse and let me go wild. Oh, God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, she's a gusher. Could have just taken, like, a fingernail, some spit, a, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was, like, off the hook. You're not going to take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Things are gonna be a lot different around here. So no more crime then? Oh, not that different then. Technically all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still gonna do a bunch of crime, but we're cool. Huh. Far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be 10 Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. God damn it, fucking burns! You won't be needing this. All right, let's go home and turn in our first bounty. Hey, you know, that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, I mean, don't don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. Woo! Easy. Done. Get him. I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. My leg's still very broken. time in the slums. Come visit any time. Just don't talk to me. Remember, we're all in this together. No matter how many surveillance drones we purchase, we simply cannot be everywhere at once, which is why we need you to tell us if you see
Huh, why is the door closed? Help! Somebody help me! Who is it? Me. You got my munch dash delivery? What? No, it's us! Oh shit, really? Good job! Oh, hold on! Is that Jane? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. At night, coyotes pee on me. God, please! Don't let it turn to night again, the coyotes pee on me! What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No! I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean. Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yeesh. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh,. Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. Well, there you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You ever uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. Hello, and welcome to Human TV, your number one choice for the scary... What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slum sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. You're really gonna need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. The suit's not really complete without it. Look, I know Mr. Keeps annoying, but you gotta put up with him and buy back that Dodge unit. So bill thing, that's it. Anything like exciting coming up in your life? Anything, you know, sad maybe happened to you? I mean, anything just uh, that's not baseline. Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah. We got that. Why? You want it? I want it, too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know how buying stuff works. There you go, one Dodge unit. Have a nice life! All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. Okay, Mamma Mia! You're going nuts! What are you asking me? Is my refrigerator going nuts? What does that mean?
Okay, great. You got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league! The G3 cartel! That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, are you positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever. Might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque, so, uh... Well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Zephyr Paradise. Gorgeous, huh? Howdy! I'm Quinn the Grantin! Welcome to Zephyr Paradise! Oh shit! A G3 Grantin! Okay, now the cartel knows we're here. Whoa, Rue! Never mind! Wow, they only brought... Listen, if any part of you is feeling bad about killing these little mites, don't. Uh, leading scientists looked into it, and uh, they, they, they have no feelings. They, you know, they're just like, I don't know, what do you have on your planet? Like, fish? Does that, did that translate right? Translate microbes. Oh, fucking... We're gonna kill you, you fucking mites! Multi-kill! These things. Okay, do you know what fan plants are? You shoot the little bud, and then the the thing does the thing it does, and and you know what? You'll 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 figure it out. Okay, yeah, you you figured it out. I can't hear you, I'm heading into a tunnel. No, I'm just kidding, just some uh, cell phone humor, just to lighten the mood, you know? Oh, a Fergal den. Oh man, you, you, you know, you actually have a lot in common with these guys. You know, aside from all the hair, you know, you're both being sold as drugs to, for aliens to get a high off of, you know? You guys are, uh, it's, it's like you're almost related in a way, you know, if you think about it. Jeez, I didn't want to embarrass them back there, but that tunnel reeks of Fergal shit.
doesn't do anything for me. You know, you got me. We, 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 we're good together here. This is great. Whoa! 
That's the last of them. Hey, not bad, bounty hunter. Thank you all for saving us. Are they all gone? Huh? D did we just rescue some guys? Hey, listen, guys. We, we got you. You're free now. Go be free. Hi there. Did you save us from the G3? Yeah, I, I guess so. You know, do, do we get, like, a, a reward? Uh, we don't have much. Maybe you should hit up our leader? Welcome, welcome. We are Moplets, native to this planet. Our tribe is forever in your debt. Our leader would like to speak with you. Oh, okay, sure. Hello there, savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Krubis. Krubis! You know, we're actually looking for him to kill? What's this? You aim to take down Krubis of the G3? You are truly a hero to Moplets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you. Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different mines across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, what about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby who knows Krubis and has access to a warp device. We may be able to use him. He lives in a mansion across the river. If you could get your hands on his warp device, that could be very useful. Okay, sure, a guy in a mansion, that, 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 that's the plan? Yes, he would appear to be our best chance. Godspeed, savior. What's the guy in the mansion like? Oh, his name is Ranchi Delarmo. He warped in not too long ago. Seems to be old acquaintances with Krubis. We haven't dealt with him much, but he seems to have a penchant for Fergals. Oh, God, he's a drug addict. Nonetheless, we may be able to use that to our advantage. He does have close ties with Krubis, after all. And he seems a bit disoriented. Right, because of the drugs. A and he's evil still, right? Well, yes, he's evil, so it should be morally just. Yes, let's all just agree right now that it's morally just to manipulate him. I love it when we can agree. Why were you guys all imprisoned? The G3 are a cruel bunch. They did tests on us to see if we could trigger psychedelic reactions like a drug. But when we proved useless in that regard, they put us to work mining Fergals instead. Man, good God, you know, you, you, you just can't win. You're either a drug or you're a slave, I guess. Yes. And those poor Fergals, so helpless. They're making us destroy their lives, their habitats. It's so gruesome. Basically, our lives are super fucked. It's, uh, it's not good. But you freed us. Everything changes now. C can you tell us a little more about Krubis? I've only come face to face with him a few times, but he's, he's an irritable one, that Krubis. I think he resents having to manage the mines. Probably would prefer doing something a bit more glamorous. And he takes all his frustrations out on us. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sadly, there's nothing that can be done about it. Unless you kill him. That would do the trick. Hey, thanks for your help. Very well. Godspeed, saviors. Hey, somebody warped in over here. I bet we can cross now. You're the one who fucked up the coordinates. How are we gonna get this thing out of the river? I fucked them up. I just typed in what you told me to type in. Yeah, you typed it in wrong. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Are you, are you fucking, did you think it was a good idea to go in here? What is wrong? That was some good old-fashioned conflict mediation.
We're not killing this one. G3. No, I'm not G3. I quit. I'm a designer. I was just flying around here trying to make new friends. Oh, that's cool. But, you know, listen, we're busy. Oh, don't worry. I won't be too much of a bother. It's nice out today, I'm saying. Sometimes there's storms that just destroy everything and I have to rebuild my shack and... Hey, look, you're a telephone. Will you do it? I wanna see! That would be so cool! I love it! Stop! Shit, this guy won't stop! Oh, so, so to continue... Did you know that I, I used to work? Actually, I used to work for the G3! Ha! <laughs> ha! Did you believe that? AP! Now that was impressive! You're a real pro! Who taught you how to shoot because I wanna shake the head! I wanna kiss him on that big, fat lips! I wanna fall in love and marry him and yes! Sure, you know, if I'd ever get a customer all the way out here, but I proved my dad wrong. Wish me luck! 
It was so nice meeting you! Finally! Thank God! I don't know how much more I could have taken. This mansion, how much do you think it costs to maintain a place like this, you know? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hey, you made it. You got my fresh Fergals? What? Yeah, this is the guy we're looking for. Huh, I don't see a warp device on you. <sighs> Come on, is Krubus making you hoof it around on foot? Oh, that cheapskate bastard, same old Krubus. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Here, I got an extra. Don't let anyone ever tell you Ranchi's not a generous fella, okay? There's an unused warp disc in there too, you know? Warp in whatever's on there, I don't care, it's free of charge. There's a river near here, you can probably cross with it. Oh man, go nuts, <laughs> warpaholics. <laughs> Wow, th thank you. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Lean in close, get close to me, man. I'm sure Krubus told you I'm here on Zephyr to break ground on a new Delarmo land resort. Yeah, I'm that ranchy Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's gonna be even better than the one on Glassboard 12. Trust me, man. That guy's busy as shit, always hopping from site to site. He's got like 30 different mines all across Zephyr. You think I can keep track of that? Fuck. I see him when I see him, okay? I, I wish you'd take some time off, though. Hey. All right, okay, we got a warp okay, device. Hey, um, you know, that's gonna be helpful. Why don't we use it to cross this river so we can go talk to the Moplets and check in with them? Looks like they're working on fixing this portal. You know, hey, maybe we can use it later, you know? Okay, uh, let's use this warp device Ranchy gave us to cross the river, huh? Hey there, it's me, Pseudo. I'm back. Uh, looks like you're trying to use that new warp device you just got. You want me to help you out? Wow, it was 
Wasn't that fun? Okay, see you later. I'm diving right back into Gene's old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. Come on, fucking Shit, move. nice hey, work. You, you know we can use go. this base as a bridge. Disappear all this fucking traffic. Hey. Holy shit, where the fuck are we? Hey, you want to check in with the mob leader? Because, you know, fuck that's, that's kind of what we're supposed to do right now. Fuck up. I'm going to fuck my ass. How was the man in the mansion? R Ranchy? Yeah, that guy has serious problems, but he gave us this warp device. By the gods, you've done it! You got the warp device! This might actually work. You continue to provide us with hope, Grand Savior. With this warp device, you can warp Krubus directly to you. How fortuitous! But alas, you'll need his coordinates and a blank warp disk to encode them onto. Hmm. Oh well, no way you're getting those. That stuff's in the mines. We could just go down there and get it right now. Oh right. Take this access code and head down to the mines. Everything you need is there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You know, you, you guys figured out that whole plan for us. You know, that really means a lot. You know, it clears things up for, for us, you know, anyway. Yep, uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Let's use the passcode and get in. Nice! Jeez, are the G3 even trying to domesticate the local mites? I mean, maybe they'll sort this out themselves. guilt-free, you know? What do you know? Is this the entrance to the mines? Jesus, they really fucked this place up. I didn't know it had gotten this bad. These guys just don't let up, do they? Oh shit, Grinton's. Gotta be honest, uh, you know, they're, they're working for the G3, but still better than our friend from earlier. Eh, nobody's gonna miss you.
retirement. I hope this is the last of them. Too easy. Okay, this should take us down into the mines. Going down, huh? Sorry, I, I almost made a crest joke, but I'm, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. We're better than that. No crest jokes from me, that's a promise. Not from me, anyways. You might warp in some bases, and Lord only knows, but you know, from me over here as a gun character sidekick, no crest jokes. 100% on the level with you and no bad stuff. Fuck, it stopped? ticket and some way to find out where Krubus is. Let's get to work. Financial 
I support the G3? Now that I get to work here and have the easy job, all that money goes right to the G3. Attention, mining Operation 12C. It's me, Krubus. Speed things up! I'm fucking underwater here trying to keep things on schedule. And I figured, maybe you forgot that if you piss me off, I will kill you. It's really easy to find more slaves. Look, just do your job and mine more Virgos. Krubus out. Holy shit, hey, he's got a Gatlion. We, we gotta rescue it. Punish the mob that's responsible, but it looks like they died in the cave in too. Don't let it happen again. What's up, fuckers? It's me, Krubus again. Someone filled out the wrong sh- You fucked up my whole day when you did that. Just come forward and tell me whose fault it was. I wish I could promise you I won't kill you, but I'm definitely gonna kill you! I just got off the phone with corporate. The new hire is coming in today. No. <laughs> no uh, excuse know what me? Like, <sighs> I've got to go. We'll talk more later. Bye, Merle. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I'm Helen. I just need to know, are you the new hire or the new boss? Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I, I am. I am the new boss. Absolutely. Yeah, right. You're not, honey. <laughs> That's funny, though. I like when the new hires have a sense of humor. <laughs> Let's get you all set up. Head on into the next room and find a place to work. Go on without me. I haven't left this chair in years, and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> oh, thank God they're here. Hey, you must be the new office clerk, right? Just sort through that paperwork for us. We're so small. Uh, shh. Sure. Uh, yes. I will see what I can do. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is more paperwork than I anticipated. All right, better get to work. So, we still good for hyperspace later? What time did you say again? Uh, Zork. Oh, yeah. Zork totally works. Hey, newbie. You know hyperspace? They create new life in front of you, and you get to eat it alive? Shit's wild, man. Hyper feast. <laughs> See you there, girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. We're dating. You know, I, I kind of don't mind this at all. Oh, my God. I'm going insane. I'm going fucking nuts. What? Yeah, I, uh, God, I think my brain's breaking. I, I think doing this job is making my brain break completely. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. It's fun. You don't mind. And done, finally. You don't mind your brain breaking? Well, you don't mind the, this fucking monotonous nightmare work? No, no, it's nice. It's cool to just give into a broken brain. I can't do math anymore. And if I stay here another year, I think I'll forget how to say three-syllable words. Okay, that honestly doesn't sound so bad. It's not bad. It's terrific. Fantastic. Amazing. Three words I won't be able to say next year, so favor them now. Oh, buddy, I will. Paper cut? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> it would have been you. You would have been the one to get the paper cut. Hey, what time did we say for Hyper Feast again? God, are you listening to anything? We said Zorg. Zorg. Uh, all in a day's work. Glad we got that all done. There, are, there definitely is not going to be a third stack. Ah, uh, the cold sting of irony. Is is that ironic? I, I never really know. Ah, uh, right, right. Damn. I just remembered I had something going on at Zork. 
I, I, I don't know. I find this kind of relaxing. I gotta say. Holy shit! I, I'm I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you, do you still sit here? That's so funny. Yeah, this is still my spot. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It does. It does. Yeah. I, I think if I if I sit back down at my desk, my soul is just gonna leave my body. Okay. Well. I've got work to do. Yeah, I know, me too. I, I, I have to do all this fucking work. This is the whole fucking problem, man. Look, just because we used to be married doesn't mean you can keep leaning on me to work through your issues. That was one night. We got married for one dumb night. Oh, okay, we're done. No more paperwork. Did you hear me? I said no more paperwork. Not even a fourth stack. Okay, good. God damn, you filled out those papers like a son of a bitch. Like a real bitch you are. Fuck you, you're, you're promoted. You're free to go into Krubus' office. Why? Because fuck you. That's why I don't need a fucking reason on Box McBoss. Huh, so this must be Krubus' office. There's got to be something here we can use. Krubus, where are you? This is Garmantuous. I just checked the log and you're three days behind. Oh, would you look at that? He, he marked his coordinates on the calendar. Shit. All right, now we just need a blank warp disk to encode this on. Hey, it's Krubus again. Just bought the... What's going on? Ah, don't, don't get oh. me in trouble. No, no, it's okay. We're friends. We, we hate the G3 too. Oh, wonderful. Thank <gasps> God. So, what's your plan? We have started a resistance. Oh. Not only do the G3 enslave us, but they have desecrated our holiest of sights and absconded with our sweet prince. <laughs> prince Chosen One. That's, that's him. Oh, that's awful! So, so you kidnapped this G3 Merc as a bargaining chip to get your prince back? Oh, hmm. yeah, that's smart. No, we, we didn't think of that at all. Oh. But it's fine, we know where the prince is. They swapped him out with the rest of our sacred grounds when they warped in a new base. So you want us to go clear it out and then warp the throne room back? Oh, heavens! Would you really do all that for us? The base is just past this tunnel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, is his name really Prince Chosen One? Yes! He was named as such according to the prophecy. And then after that, it was made into a prince. So you trust your leaders to prophecies. Is he a good prince? Well, the prophecy doesn't guarantee he's going to be good at his uh, job. It just tells us who to pick. Look, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Look, now is not the time to criticize us. We're, I'm just, you know, we're distressed as it is. I'm just doing my job. <gasps> Listen, we're looking for a blank warp disk. Do, do you have any ideas? Ah, yes. Our prince has a stash of them. Really? All you need to do is clear out the warp base the G3 plopped on in our holy land. Then you'll reclaim the sacred grounds and rescue Prince Chosen One. And then he'll give us a blank disk? Yes, oh, yes. We, we can help each other. Oh, what a fortuitous happenstance. Oh. All right, we are off. <laughs> Oh shit, this must be the place. Okay, let's clear it out. Great, now let's see if there's 
a disc in here. Okay, let's head back outside and use this to reverse the warp. And what the hell do you want? Jeez, jeez, we, we just saved you? You know, maybe you could be a little grateful? Saved me from what? I'm fine. Look, we were told you had some sort of blank warp disc. Huh? Yeah, 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 sure. I've got a bunch. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's get back to Ranchy's place and see if he, you know, can help us encode them onto this machine. Prince Chosen One has returned! All has been restored! Prince Chosen One, I am so sorry, but we're out of Klagorsh. Can I interest you in some Klagorb? I don't want Klagorb! I want Klagorsh! You said that you wouldn't run out of Klagorsh again. You promised! I don't even know why I stick around here. If I leave, you're all dig dig bloop! Just try and find a chosen one better than me. I dare you. Oh, no, 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 please, please. It is already written in the prophecies. Set in stone for eons to come. You are the chosen one. There is no other. Do not dare us. Exactly. Yet you're out of Klagorsh again. Tell me where that makes sense. Just tell me, there's a real disconnect going on. We're so sorry, chosen, chosen one. Ugh. What about my lumbar support? I thought you were gonna get something for my lumbar. It's killing me. I get warped out by G3 Maniacs, and I get back and my lumbar is in dire need of support. I look around me, and I don't see any ding dang support. And I'm not oh, need a jetpack in order to cross this gap. I remember seeing one at, at Mr. Keeps. Hey, uh, you're back! Uh, thank God! Thank fucking God! Uh, did you bring my Fergals? Uh, I need a bed. Uh, I need my fix, kid. Uh, I need a bed. I need it real bad. Oh, Jesus Christ! Man, hey, are you alright? Uh, are you are you having a heart attack? Or, or is, it, is it Fergal withdrawals? Does that make you happy? Oh, huh? you love that, don't you? You love to see him. Uh, master of industry, all flummox like this, all low and, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh maybe this is a bad time, but could we use your disc encoder real quick? What? No, the encoder is off limits until I get my goddamn Virgil fix. Virgils, get him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh. Uh, hey, tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and use the disc encoder while you're sort of, uh, stuck on the ground like that, doing whatever it is you're doing. So, don't be mad at us. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's working. Oh, oh, I'm in a bad spot. Alright, there we go. Time to warp in Krubus and then, so you know, kill him. Yeah. If, if, if we're able to. Oh, you ready? Oh, 
Please! Give me Fergals! Hey, I've got a crazy idea. What if we just swap out this mansion for Krubus's base? We'll all be damned. We found Krubus officially. Hey, come down here, asshole! No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, where you going, you fool? Jack off! How dark it is!
the disc! Let me in there! Oh god, this feels amazing! You have no idea! Oh god, I'm in, I'm in heaven right now! Oh, oh, you should see this! Oh, ripping through his drill tenants like they're butter! Oh fuck! Oh! Oh, I was really getting my glumps off there, wasn't I? Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh. Hey, bud, the name's Gus. Feel good to meet you. Look at you, man. Pretty slick taking out Krubis like that, rescuing me from indentured servitude, etc., etc. I love that kind of stuff. You know what? I love that. That's the kind of stuff I love, man. Do you mind if I tag along with you for a bit? I, of course. I, I, that's what I was hoping you'd say. We can use your help. But I should be clear that we are trying to take down the whole G3 cartel, and we might die. Music to my ears. You think I don't want to take down the cartel? Buddy, that's all I want to do. That's all I dream about. Amazing. God, I'm so glad to find another Catlian alive and well. I love your tiny little hands, by the way. I, I, I had a cousin who had those tiny hands. He died in the zombie apocalypse on Gadless, but, you know, look, I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. We had to live through it. I mean, you know, who wants to talk about that? Oh, shit. Time to fight. Oh, okay. Quit wasting our time! No, no! I just said use the vacuum! Use the damn vacuum! Hmm, still a little far away. I'm not sure you can jump to that one. Oh, hey! It's me, Quentin and Quentin again! Your best friend! I actually decided to pass things up and rejoin the Jake 3. Do you mind if I kill you real quick? <laughs> Let's see how much you talk when you're dead. Finally, enough of that guy. They kicked him out of the G3 because he was so damn annoying. He's lonely, he's bitter, and get a life. Some people need a life, and he needed a life, man. Freedom, baby! I already felt free when you saved me from Krubus. But now that we're out of the pit, I really feel free. I'm ready for whatever's clever. All right, my glove shot. You repulsed me. Fuck you, G3 scum. You think I'm supposed to be impressed that you killed a G3 officer? Y well, okay, yeah, fine. I am. I think it's pretty insane you didn't die. That's all you're getting out of me. Now, turn that bounty in. Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. Here we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling, and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh, can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me, had a deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal fair and square. Well. Oh, come on! 
man. We barely know this guy. You're really gonna side with him over your own sister? Uh, you should be proud. You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg. Of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Twig's harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not my boyfriend. Yeah. Trust me. Flimborgs are bad news. Come on. Have my back here. Okay, yeah, you got me there. Thank you. God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy. What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, come on. That's a high estimate. Ew, I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you going to say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Hey, uh, all right. I, I, I can see I'm being a little bit of a bother. I mean, look, I'll, I'll try to keep it down when I'm uh, watching my stories. Just don't uh, put me back on the streets. I really do want to help you. Fine, he can stay. But only until he finds somewhere else to go. I'm grateful. I mean it. But I've already missed half my program, so can everyone just shut the hell up? Ugh. All right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on. Eh? Oof, that was tense. It's times like these, I'm, I'm almost relieved I don't have any family left alive. But but not really. I, I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the Bounty 5000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look Look for loot you missed. Whatever. Up to you. Just thought I'd tell you. Listen, I know it sounds stupid and ridiculous, but it was a real... You the owner of this house? It can't be here. Gotta give you a ticket. Take your time browsing our wares, but don't take too long! Ooh, excellent choice! Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink.
Are you fucking kidding me? We had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on. Bunch of fucking sand in my eyes. No, you're you got a helmet on. No, I don't. I don't. You fucking helmet wearing piece of shit. You don't, you can't relate to this. Why don't I have a helmet? You're getting me the helmet upgrade the second we're done with this shit. What's in there? navigate through this I, I I can't even tell which direction we're going anymore oh, oh, oh I'm excited oh yeah no you, you can kill these guys nobody cares they're just like you know guys to shoot damn this crash ship I'm telling you full of ghosts Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. I heard scavengers used to stop getting freighters with a big magnet and loot their cargo. You know, I mean, this place is fucked. You know, Port Turin. Here we are. Hey, hold on. You know, maybe we can use that to our advantage. stuff is toxic and will dan it will hurt you so don't go in it into it all right a big desert adventure you know it's a bounty hunter's way you know how, how are you liking it go down for extra safety call this number call me dead call me dead But uh, I've been on a, I've been on a lot of adventures, and uh, I can tell you firsthand that this is uh, pretty lame. So let, let, let's let's get to the good stuff. All right. Whoa! Oh, don't mind us, dead lug locks. We're just right going around here, guys, real quick. <laughs> Wait, what's that sign? Sandworms. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, yeah, we, we, we gotta be really careful. I'll be honest, I really want you to use my glob shot. Just across this bridge.
Oh shit, Greebles. Look, look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I no idea. I'm not I'm not about to give it a taste test. Support beams have their spot, but they are not the end all do all of uh, construction. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 Wait, whoa, tough whoa, guy. Whoa. Hey, 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 look, walk wherever you want. This is a hey, fucking Mac and Cheese Brothers construction us. site. We ain't done here. Hey, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past. Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ oh, and just fucking walk here. around like you own the place? Whoa, whoa. There's a goddamn bottomless pit over hey, here, hey, asshole. Hey, you think hey. you could survive that? Hey, Falling through a freak? fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? Hey, whoa, I don't think so. Right. You better fucking run away, you little. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, whoa. Those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. Move through this place and we'll we'll get to Douglas. Uh, you whippersnappers looking to get into old town. Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He he seems helpful. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to old town. They call me old wet grundy. Uh, how can I help you? So uh well, you know, tell us. What 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 is this place? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Strange Town steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the old town, and Dreg Town is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The Concern G3 Cartel. So, uh, why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's cause I'm old. And I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is the good one. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, a, a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> oh, 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 oh
He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nobody. I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dread Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dreg Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's always Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charm and young wimpish numbers like you. Have a good time in there, youngins. G3 skulking around, but if you want, we can try heading to Dregtown. Dregtown's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. Hey, sorry, excuse me. Is I, I just curious, is, is uh, there a fella named Douglas down there? What, like G3 Douglas? Uh, yeah, it's his job to be down there. I heard he was partying pretty hard last night, though. I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them, and, and I'll let you through. What's going down? You just got this. You hate to see it. Look at this. Some G3 trouble going down. Yeah. I mean, you really just gonna die, right? I'm willing to bet that's not the last of them. Hole, you gotta be with my friends. You walk, I'll talk and shoot. Too easy.
Oof, more drunk recruits. Quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. I thought you were done with me. I'm back. all cleaned up. I keep tab till I don't know how many times I've told the recruits not to cause trouble out there or if someone's gonna kill them. You told us to kill Tomatoes, them. Tomatoes, potatoes. I'm just a dumb gate guard. Whatever. Very rude of you to just breeze past me like that, but I get it. I'm just a gate guard. Who cares about me? for glory then join the g3 cartel my name's douglas the g3 chief of training and torture ignore that second bit for this ad this was just about the training well goddamn, that there there's douglas right there uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot Douglas again. This ad is about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about Mothers against violence. Treatment. No violence allowed here. Mothers against violence. Oof. Well, so, that, that falls in our favor, huh? We don't, we're not going to have to worry about any trouble in this area. Moms here in Dragtown got together at the last mom of the Wow. So this is what a G3 run city looks like. So, like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into torture. Like, sexually? Does it matter? Yes to me. <laughs> Ouch! I'm fragile! I had hernia surgery! That guy scares the shit out of me. Get your grubby mitt off of me. Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. Get over there, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mother Flower Box. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! They got they're they're, they're fucking dealing with some greebles over there. Dumb fucks. Ooh, friendly fire!
real G3 training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes! How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there. Just, uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, d don't, don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oh! Oh, this fucking... Oh, my God, the smell! Oh, my God, I'm gonna fucking throw up. Okay, okay, I'm all right. Okay. Hey! Look at you, you're all gooped up. I gotta be honest, it won't last long. It's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lollygag, cause this stuff's gonna fall off. That's the goop guy, promise. That's the guarantee. You're 18. Okay, shuttle again. This is about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about- Oh, looky here. Torture. We got another grouped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. Be funny. Anybody, Where are we Who cares? I hope you get shot. Good luck. Okay. Uh, thanks. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is All that... Right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torture that was in the a Gatlian. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we got a rescuer. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. I, I, shit, I hope it's not too difficult. The good thing about bugs is nobody gives a shit if you kill them. You're leaving. Okay. Hey, that's cool. I don't give a shit. I was just starting to think, maybe you need to lock me or something. Somebody better call the rest, because I'm going to murder you. I quit. Let's go to the game. Are you fucking kidding me? More? Here we go again. You can't die forever. Simple platforming, you know, like what you'd see in like Lucky's Tale on, uh, you know, or um, you know that one uh, that one game that we, that we all know and love, Mario Land or whatever. You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you if you if you get through this because it's pretty simple. Oh God, uh, <laughs> I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. Hey, you go on ahead. Okay, l let's just get this over with, please. Really? You got hurt? You know, that, l that looked like it should have been easy. Stop messing up! Well, I guess it's apparently harder than it looks. 
Whew, fuck it. Get that fucking jump. God damn. That was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Congratulations, shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out. To fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. Feeling good, bounty hunter? Okay, well, there goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here. My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna to throw up you really help me oh gee i'm i'm so grateful follow me you gotta connect these pipes for me so i can get through and save my family hey don't worry this is a classic textbook puzzle situation i think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out don't even worry oh how wondrous! I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family. My wife, Plimmy. My kids, Swoopy and Fruity. I'm gonna get to see them soon. Oh, you're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on! You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Here we come! That was the hardest part behind us! This is basically done! We finished this shit! We are fully out <sighs> Okay, w w what is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training! It is now time for the final test! A bloody free-for-all! Last one standing gets to join the G3! No rules, just killing! Good luck, shit eels. God damn it, another fucking thing with this. Holy shit, just kill them all. Gus is in the house. Eat this. Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys. Reinforcements have arrived. The G3 payroll must be fucking a million miles long. I mean, Jesus. This one doesn't even have a gun. Just trying to whack us with some shit on their arm. Get to use my glove. 
shot, no. graduates aren't joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. Hey, over there! Bounty hunter! Don't you want a nice deal? 
You looking for a good deal? Over here! Feel free to keep looking, if you want. I guess that'll do. Hey, I did tell you we don't do refunds, right? Who likes great deals? You? It looks like you like great... Hey, you found something you wanted. Great! I'm glad to see you. I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plimmy calling for me. You're gonna solve this one, too. Thank you. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's four and against violence zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. Douglas infiltrated the chief green recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence. It's an asshole who's been fucking with their training exercises. Oh shit, here we go. Unhealthy. When is he gonna sell these Legos? It's been 30 years. Good to go. This is the 
joining the G3. You know, I, I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. It's, I, I, I'm. I, I'm. I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, floppy, and droopy! I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices! And it's not working, to be honest! You're a good team! Well, shit! D does that mean he's... Huh? I, I feel pretty stupid right about now. He was fucking with us! We got played! Look at us! We got played! We fell for it! Damn it! <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron! Oh, of course you are. <laughs> Stepped up in the, 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 the,
Nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello, nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself oh, at that shit. party last night. I think that's a photo Not of the famous Douglas. dude who invented translator Not micro. Good. Why the fuck does I'm he know Douglas? I'm gonna top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up you wanna all over the galaxy up? as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. You're excited. And get your fucking shit Hey, you want to know my real hat trick? My crystals stick in the baddies and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. We make a pretty good team. Oh, my God. Done already? I was just getting into it. You just made a big mistake. It's too easy. smaller crystal. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? Shoot him through his cover. 
Fuck yeah! He had no idea what hit him. Oh, now we gotta get across, huh? Hey, you wanna see what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill! You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystal. Then you'll see it with that You're gonna make a good team, I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlian. Hey, kid. Another one's down, huh? Great work, but uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. All right, good. Get over here. Oh my God! Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. This is your bedroom? Okay. Come on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the magistrate? Don't keep him waiting. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it, sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. There's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. 
As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. I'm ready for whatever's clever. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck, God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Pleasure doing business with you. Come back soon. Oh, power slide! You, over there, come over here. I've got some food for ya. Yeah, that's right. Food, I said food. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff. <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit, if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Hi, hi. Hey, 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 come over here. Hey, hey, yeah, you, you, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Good day to you, food customer. Not even a TV show, it's just you and me. Put me next How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? 
Holy shit, this rules! Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro! Are you tired of your regular taking your pills situation where you have to put all your pills in like a first day through last day kind of... Nice! Remember before the jetpack when we... Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you shouldn't let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. <laughs> It's you, the savior! 
Uh, yeah, 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 that's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was Ogborn. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh, shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks! to good use. Nice, we're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter, like we're flying. Not gonna let me take a break, huh? Pretty good team. Huh? Hey, you, you haven't left yet, right? Because it's it's really important I get you checked in. And it's also really important that I finish shitting. Okay, oh, no. okay, yeah, this isn't wrapping up. Uh, hey, buddy, may maybe maybe you just want to take a nap. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just lie down on the floor and, and, and rest up while I while I continue shitting. And, and then when I'm done shitting, I'll, I'll wake you up. Okay? Uh, sounds good. Thank you. Don't forget. 
get, you know, you, you can use those to launch yourself. think Scrandle Labs is like I mean I, I mean like I I know a little bit I mean I I, I heard a bit so so I kind of know but I, I'm just making small talk right now you know I'm just trying to I'm just trying to fill the dead air it's really uncomfortable I mean don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting because you know I'm, I'm doing my best here you know this is the real meat and potatoes of our adventure you know just good old-fashioned combat Hello, and welcome to Screndel Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevator's working now. Take a look around this place, you know, let's see what kind of experiments they're doing here. Would you like to do the honors? 
We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. Uh, no, you, you know, I, I don't think we're qualified to, to, to make that decision. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. They died! What the fuck are you doing? Well, why, why'd you press the button, bounty hunter? Now this looks a little too complicated for us right now, buddy. Let's fuck shit up! Sheesh, whoever works here really needs to get their shit together. What a mess. Never mind, we gotta move. Wait, I think that one's alive. Oh, hey, you look nice. My name's Creature. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another cat laying alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, Creature. The, the... That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in, but that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Look out, one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually, but I'm numb to it. Oh, yeah, that's one of my children. They died fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more. Man, it feels good. God, I love them so much. They grow up so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. I've had so many kids, and I'm gonna have so many more. I recommend it. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Hurts to get birth doing though. Hey, I don't want to be annoying, but you could use me to get into the weapons crafting center. Hope that's not annoying to say or anything.
me to shine. Oh, sorry to speak up without asking. It's just you should use me here. Cute critters. to my arm. You're gonna graft a Gatlian to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent, is that right? Because I'm I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot, and that I'm also gonna regret not being able to- Intruders! Hey! I can fight too! Let me help! Well, get the body! What you got in mind? Ah, don't shoot me! Goodbye! I can't get Frazier on Netflix! I'm happy to serve you! Please tell me how I can help! I want you, Sable! Zombified Gatlians onto Mercs in here? <gasps> Holy shit! No! Hello! Holy shit, you killed everyone? Wow, you are strong. Good thing I'm safe behind this glass. Oh! Use one of my kids to fuck with that guy's mind! He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they could do that? We can do that. Shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Ah, oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make you last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. You ready for my trick hole? Because it's ready. Okay, where are we now? Back outside? Let's do this! Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Too easy. 
Easy. Hey, uh, don't forget to use my glob shot. You know? Another wave, no problem. device, yeah? Hey, let's save those humans! There we go! Oh my god, a politician who actually gives a shit! Be free, those humans! Be free! Some people need no introduction. Here I am. Come the hell in here and fuck with me? You know who I am? I'm Jonathan fucking Strendel, a.k.a. the Hot Strendel brother. Up yours! Oh, hey, Jonathan. I think we're gonna kill you. tell you, but, you know, we can use this portal to head back to Blim, you know, whenever we want. But, uh, also find Trudging Forward. Let's fuck shit up. I'm just getting warmed up.
Back to the ground. shot every now and again, you know? My turn! Hey, I'm ready to give birth one. I don't know if you knew this, but I can help you here. This is totally my thing. I'm good at it. That's Angela Screndel! Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck! The bounty hunter's here! Holy shit, is that another Screndel? The, the, the Getting away!
God, I cannot imagine a universe without the G3. You know, they, they, they've just always been there, operating in the shadows, skirting the law. Everybody's too scared to take them down, so, so they just keep doing all their evil shit, enslaving planets, kidnapping useful species. Huh. Are we sure we're gonna be able to do this? I feel like someone more- So you finally need me again, huh? Hey, Brad! What do they got you watching today? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be porn, but it's like, oh, what the hell? What, what is this? What is this? Why is this in here? I'm trying to jack off. This is really distracting to me, but I'll still be able to do it. Trust me, I, I've been through a lot. Uh... Go on, have a good life! Not gonna let me take a break, huh? Sweezy's ready for blood! How's it going for you? stuff enjoy your meal I mean uh, purchase oh that's a delicious one I've been slobbering on that one you're lucky to get that one hey asshole we can see you hiding in there no you can't fuck off fuck you Damn it! Why do they keep running? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! I, why is he still following me? Fuck, we gotta keep running. D you're not out of breath yet, are you?
whack-a-mole. Whoa, that was creative. That nice work. Ready for carving? Oh, alien biology. Always uh, just, just fucked. Just fucked, really? Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Fuck, it's Carmantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Fuck you, you're just afraid because we keep killing off your goons. Bounty hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. You monster! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Fuck. Guess we've really awakened the beast now. All right, well, you know, we never did figure out, you know, who's the boss uh, uh, of those guys, but, you know, let's pack it in and, and head home. Ah, 
you killed the Skrendel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Hey, yeah. Uh, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job! You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh, that's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Oh, no. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. 
Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, uh... Hey, tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great, he's a good drummer. And I think it would help him, you know, he's a good musician. I think it would, he, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk, he just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. 
Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. Greetings, traveler. Don't mind Jor. He's my son, and he's tech great. Now get out of here. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? Yeah, here, it's yours. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Well, what do you know? Fuck it, that fucker's pretty good. Yo, bounty hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. I passed, my heart's not there anymore. We used to do the gun shooting thing, and it was uh, just the three brothers and brother Paul. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Doing a power slide, look at you. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life oh, yeah, store. Hey, hey, Hopefully yeah. the slums uh, are a little more chill no now that we took out Nine Torg. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy, I guess. Asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone! Get him! Fucking goddamn it! It's the bounty hunter! They're are you kidding me? Oh. You guys gotta die? Make a sound so I know where you are.
they're coming at us this hard. Come on, l let's get to this high on life place. You know damn well this isn't sanitary and, and it hurts like fuck. to this place it's it just feels weird oh, oh, oh I'm excited You don't understand. This isn't like. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always thing. cut lines. It's more the like rules do not apply I'm to the law. To drugs. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Store number seven nine two three, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Woo, 
these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your hyperbong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I'm gonna be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened, so, uh, I only been here for, like, half an hour, and honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far, because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone! It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me! Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the- Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is! I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except, this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right! Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong! Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More? Of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Give me some space. You just broke my ring. Holy shit, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Listen, I hate to suggest this, but I think we might need to, you know, borrow that dead guy's mag boots, you know, to, just to climb out of here. Yeah, that's fine. Could totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful, and and they're the only way out of here. Well, you know. Hey, six moves! You 
making good use of those mag boots. Let's not waste our time with those assholes. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I forgot you sided with this dipshit instead of me? Nope, I didn't. Fuck off. I know, but like, from what I'm seeing, you look like your shoes are on backwards. On back what are you doing? Are you doing the crisscross thing? Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his two little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? You gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? Oh, welcome! 
Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug! Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know? But uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Go. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. It's all so perfect. It's so perfect. Here we are, you and me, just like it was meant to be. Just like all the time. The two of us alone, needing each other. I love you. And you love me. You still don't understand. This is real, Scott. There are no parents. Gentlemen. How'd it go? Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. On a, a free speech for corpulent gentlemen. I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh, oh, oh no. I booked all my dates for the same evening. Can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with...
Try my Glock shot every now and again, you know? I'm dying. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. <laughs> right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well, it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh, my God. It was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. We're, we'll stay with you as long as it takes. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Uh, fuck, that rips my heart out. Here we go. Hey, 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 where are you guys going? You you promised me you'd stay with me until I until I die. 
Oh, hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you really dying? You, you, you sound fine now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. Oh, my God. Oh, stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Thank you. Oh, here, here I go. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> All right, shit. I, I, I guess that's it, then. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet, assholes. Oh, come back. If you leave me again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Oh, whoops, whoops. Never, never mind. I, 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 I'm really, I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real. This, the, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good. I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, good, good. Bye. Hey. Oh, oh. Okay, this time it's gotta be real. Let, 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 let's just get out of here. It's, it's depressing. Hey, hey, guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back here and stay with me. Okay, fuck this. I, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I, I don't think I'm gonna die. But I am so disappointed in you for leaving me in my time of need when you explicitly promised you wouldn't. Listen, we've got places to be. It's important. Can we just wrap this up? Oh, no, wait. I, I'm dying for real now. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. Two steps away, I swear. Oh shit, I guess he really did finally die. Uh, are you gonna fuck you? Okay, I'm, I'm dying for real over here, and it's really sad. I'm all alone. Oh. Y you still alive, man? Y you're not just pranking us or something, right? Uh, I, I guess, I guess, I guess it's, I guess, I guess hey, it's... guess what? I'm still alive. Don't leave me. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, never mind. I'm dying now. This one is real. I, I can't do this. Can you just shoot him, just to be sure. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets's base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But if someone was killing G3 mercs... You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right, then. Let's, let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? 
They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh shit, that's a g Gatlion! A regular old Gatlion doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon! Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlion to attack his men! It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlion for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Dr. Giblets, uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report: No life signs detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. It's never that easy, is it? Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. Fallen prey to my glorious science you were ever so curious of. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. Let me guess, you forgot about my triple. Well, it's right what you need. Krubus, 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 always complaining about being the lowest rung on the G3 ladder. You thought you could kill me and take my spot on the top, didn't you? Well, think again, because, well, you did kill me, actually, but I'm going to kill you back. Another wave, no problem. How appropriate, Krubus, that after all those years, 
finally got to get your hands dirty again, just like you want. And then convinced her to divorce you and marry me instead. And then I made her do an experiment for me and she died in that process. And you swore revenge against her for the rest of the days? Could it be that? I don't know if it's not, but I just want to make sure. I know you can't tell me because I'm dead. But soon you can tell me. In the hell? Ooh, we just glopped it all over the place. Good thing about Buff is nobody gives a shit if you kill him. Okay, I, I, I think that's probably it. All right, if you're still alive, you can't beat Krubus. Krubus was too weak. I would have killed him. No, no, you must be someone else. But who is it? Who killed me? Was it you, Douglas? You never told me your last name! Oh, so it was Douglas! Lock and load, motherfucker! Douglas, you always were unpredictable. You were in this party, but so we landed you in hot water with Garmantuous. Perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing his prize scientist! Hooray! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! Glob shot's ready! I remember that party where you got naked and experimented with one of the Squindle brothers. It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me! To get back to the photographs! Well, too bad. I rigged my computer to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry, they're really hot.
Okay, this is my final message. If you're still alive to hear this, then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Finally. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Jimmy's out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. I think we can get back out through the trap door now. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians, but now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know what? We, we, we should probably grab that Gatlian, you know? Is, is he even alive? Uh, you know what? L -l let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, bounty hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J delete it. And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a whole DLC mission. Every last peso we've ever earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit. You know, a whole DLC story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for. And it'll only be like an hour of content because fuck you. You bitch! No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. Oh, oh, oh I'm excited.
Come one, come all. Come marvel at the mysteries of the cosmos. Decided to take a look, have we? How fortuitous. Before you lies the mythical Zephyr Star Whale. Some say this mythical being pollinated the land with its mighty Star Whale Seed, which supposedly gave way to all life on Zephyr. That's the myth, but I know the truth. An old guy named Steven did it. He just jizzed everywhere a few thousand years ago and sort of just uh, became a god for this planet, I guess. The progenitor of all Zephyr life, including mites, burgles, and moplets. So good for Steven. All hail Steven. Ah, just thinking about him makes me all misty-eyed. Okay, thank you. That's that's great. En enough. That's enough for us. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go! Come on over, let's bow wow! Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit! That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? We are not affiliated with Noodle Nuts. Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not going to promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. He would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... They're very weird, little creatures. Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. through their mouths. And on top of it all... They only pee in specified rooms. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it. Since she's your sister and all, maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to... Go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Jean, and let's get out of here, look for Lizzie, and have a chat. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Jean, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I, don't uh, uh, there's no back, reason to be, uh, you know, right don't feel through. weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. 
Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? That guy's Making still it here. See you later. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know and it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it's Okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. Sister, you, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Twig is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, we, we will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of, I was going nowhere, you know, everyone thought I was a fuck up, you know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up, here comes the appetizer train, chicka 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 choo choo! Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. 
You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So, I led the G3 right to Getless. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know? But they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Les Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed except let's do it survived somehow the g3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power god if we can really bring him back do you, do you see my problem right like I, i'm gonna have to tell the other guns what i did you know or else he'll tell them all right i'm back hope those tummies are ready for some yummies bon appetit dude take a fucking hint can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here emotional thing uh, you know this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here take a hint and get out of here for a second uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Hey, you didn't pay! Oh fuck, okay, this 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 Your changes shit, this is bad. That means they realize they're not just in this game! I'm here live in downtown Green City where, as you can see, we have been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Fuckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Hey, uh, so I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job with all these bounty hunting rights that you really were, so I just made some new commercials with you in them. To drum up more business and well, let's just say they had your house's address and now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me. And my bad. Fucking it as if it couldn't get any worse. the whole time, but, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Hey, what's going on, best buddy? Hey, just so you know, man, everyone's like really upset with you. Holy shit, they're fucking everywhere! Get to the house, come on, we gotta get to the fucking- Surprised to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> you fuck with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me kill you. Nice and easy. We know everything about you, and we still have two owners and special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in, and nobody has to get hurt. Turn yourself in, nobody has to get hurt. Oh, fuck, it sounds like he's got your parents. 
Okay, you gotta get inside, now! I have a plan! What the fuck are the G3 even doing here? It's a neutral zone! Where the fuck have you been? We had to let Jean use us! Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't deserve your help. It's not your fault! Well, no, you know, fuck that! It is your fault! You fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later! Please, fire up the warp core! We're leaving! Got it. Hey, don't forget about us! What's the plan? Yeah, the warp's ready, but where can we go with it? G3 won't follow. I'll handle that! Can you pull off the Henderson maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Do you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp! Bounty Hunter, bring me to the warp court! close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips controls. And like an app, right? So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Thine ancient conscience. All right, good night. I am... All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little sum sum. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you'll like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. 
If you're ready, just step through the portal door. I don't know what I want. Okay, fine, I don't know either. Isn't the sex good? I don't know. I can't even tell if we're doing it right. We're aliens. None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that? Dude, you're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo. Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marble? Marble? Marbleos? Marbleos? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay. Never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blimp City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave, unless... What else were you worried about? Oh yeah? How? Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if if we worked or not. Oh yeah, it's cool. I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh, really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering, like, a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? You piece of shit! Wait, what? You're, you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off, love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case, or a lawyer, fuck it, you're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus, I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th yeah, Tweek, fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me, seriously. It, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough, let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek. We're back. You're safe. Uh, I mean, fuck you. And a fuck you, too. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's got to be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're going to be able to fix him? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. Y you're serious? That 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 soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's 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 great. It's it's just what you don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy. Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, bounty hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody. I I. I need to come clean about, uh, well, sh phew, this is f way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I I, I can't. I, you, you're gonna hate me. Dad, th we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. If you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Dewitt when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'll be mad. I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just oh, a... Fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Les Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he, I didn't know he was going to survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just... Oh, okay. Let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure. Easy. Done. What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on. Th th that's not fair. Don't fight. I'm sure we can all figure this out. No, Creature. He can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same. I I'm sorry. Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough! Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals! You're bounty hunters! Act like it! Mm-hmm. Fine. Huh. Okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tarine, so we gotta strike now. Can you handle that? She meanwhile with strawberry lips. Let's just get this over with. And like an ass writhing on burning coals. Moist on my lips. And I can learn to sleep thy night. Hey, in the event that I manage to get Liz Whip back online, we'll be ready to fight Garmantuous. And for that, you're really gonna need those Earth coordinates. Nipulon should have them logged somewhere in his office, in that big yeah. drug lounge he runs. Find those if you can, so we can take the fight to Garmantuous back on your home planet and finish this. Bust. That impotent angel, damn it. Okay, we just need to sneak into Nipulon's lounge. Let's try... Can it, traitor! We'll handle this one! We don't want you selling us out. Kenny, do us all a favor and sit this one out. Hey, stop fighting! I hate it when everyone's fighting! We need to talk things over in a healthy way. No, 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 no. We just need to cover ourselves in goop again. It's not complicated. That's true, we should do that. But I also think we need to have a really fun time at the saloon, so go there first, please. Uh, whatever. It's it's up to you, Bounty Hunter. Head over to Dregtown and get gooped up, or try hashing this out at the saloon. What's the plan? Hey, on our way out, just toss Kenny in a trash can. Oh! You're going with my plan? 
It's an honor. I will not take this lightly. Shall we take a seat at an open table? Okay, creature, this was your big idea. What is there to even talk about? Thank you, everyone, for coming today to the inaugural Big Friendship Meeting. First item on the agenda is... You don't have to do this, creature. No, no, I insist. Kenny doesn't deserve any of this hate, right, Bounty Hunter? Whoa, uh, that's harsh, but fair, maybe. Wait, wait, this isn't going how I planned it in my head. But look, the Bounty Hunter gets it. They're about to lose their home, too. Honestly, I don't know how, but I bet that's Kenny's fault, too. No, no, stop it! I mean, let's be civil here. We're friends. Are we? Most of my friends don't trigger global genocides. Well, I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it. Oh, yeah? How would you phrase it, then? Lightly assisting a global genocide? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what would happen. Oh, fuck off. Like, that makes it any better. But he's also trying to stop it. He's trying to make things right. We all are. Not, not like he has much choice. You think he's doing this because it's the right thing to do, Bounty Hunter? Thank you, Bounty Hunter. At least you have my back. I have your back too, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, Creature. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we still hate you, Kenny. Creature, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, it's going perfectly. It has to be going perfectly, otherwise I'll be sad. Then be sad, Creature. Tough shit. You could just blame Kenny if you want, like we're doing. It's pretty easy. Can we just bail on this little group therapy session we got going on here and get back to the bounty, which is more important? Honestly, I'm right there with you. you know, this, is, this is a lost cause. No. No, it's not a lost cause. Is it, Bounty Hunter? Yes, we will. Look, look, fine. Maybe. Maybe. But let's just deal with Nippalon first, okay? Can we do that? Whatever. Are we done here? Can we go, Bounty Hunter? What's up? Well, that was pretty pointless. I'm over here now. I moved here for your convenience. It's closer. Hey, hey, we are here for your services. We would like to get gooped again, if you if, if you could. Oh, no can do, partner. See, my little gooper trooper here is sick as can be. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Truth be told, I don't think I'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. <laughs> Unless we get him that medicine. Medicine? Well, maybe we can help. Oh, no way. Thank you so much. Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there on uh, the other side of Terrine Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is Terrine through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you could get them to do their jobs, then maybe we could get the flower and save my little Goopa. Don't worry, we, we, we got it. We could do it. Well, shit. I don't want to get my hopes up, but thank you so much. You wanna see my Kenny impression? Huh? Um, um, can, can, can you stop by the G3 headquarters real quick so so I can sell out all my Guys, friends? Kenny's still our friend. No, it's fine. Let him go nuts. Wait, I can do one too. Oh, uh, nobody loves me and I suck. Uh, I'm a piece of shit. A big dumb sicko who loves me. Yeah, go ahead. What's up, Marky? Just, I just wish we could build some windows out here, you know? I know we're trying to build a bridge, but it's like, fuck, man. How you build a bridge with windows, you know? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, Buster. What are you doing walking on? This is a live construction site. Very dangerous. You can't hang around here unless you're a construction professional like one of... Okay, so you're not leaving, are you? You're just fucking barging in. What do you want from us? Hey, we're, we're just trying to look for a way across. Well, tough luck. You, you, you think you own the world? You want to get across the ravine? You got to wait for us mac and cheese brothers brothers to do our work. Yeah. Yep. Come on, you're telling me there's nothing we can do. No, sorry, pal. Listen, we got our own emotional shit right now. You know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town, and he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. You, you want us to get your dad to love you? Alright, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us. That's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? Hey, we're the Mac and Cheese Brothers. Yeah, you can't do shit. You're, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You little bitch. Uh, sorry. Does anyone know where we can find uh, Papa Mac and Cheese? 
Excuse me, you know where uh, Papa Mac and Cheese might be? Never heard of them. And if I had, I'd keep quiet. I'm sorry, we're looking for uh, Papa Mac and Cheese. Eh, don't look at me. I mean it, don't let them see you're looking at me. You might be able to help us. We're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. Watch yourself. Don't want to go get yourself into trouble. Hi, uh, we're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. You best mind your own business. Please, for, for everyone's sake. Hey, you there. Yeah? I'll tell you what Papa Mac and Cheese is. If you do this guy. What? No, not me. Please pick anybody but me, please. Huh? A duel? Okay, well, you know what? Listen, whatever. We'll do it. You know the rules. Stand five feet apart, count to three, then draw. Last man standing wins the fuck a duel. Come on, man. I, I don't want to do this. Come on, it'll be fucking fun. Go on, then. Get to your mark. Perfect. Here we go, then. Jeez. I'll count you down. Shoot at each other on fucking draw, all right? Three. All right, we got this. Two. I believe in you. I think. One. Fucking draw. Four. That's some quick trigger finger you got there, fuckface. Oh, th thank you. Is he, is he gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, he's dead. But it's fine. We hate him. He's a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, sorry about all that. I was just fucking with you. It's fun to do a whole Big Ten shootout thing, you know? <laughs> We love it. Anyway, I'm Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. What can I do you for? Oh, uh, we met your kids over at the construction site. Oh, is that so? Yeah. And how are those good-for-nothing pieces of shit doing? They just sent us here to get the confirmation that you love them. That's it. But I hate them. They're shit heels. They ain't fit for the Mac and Cheese Brothers' name. Wait, are you... What? Are, you, you don't really want us to tell them that. Yeah. Tell them I said I hate them, and I hope they all fucking die. Now leave me the fuck alone. Uh, okay. I guess that's that then. You are... You're a tough guy, Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. I'm not changing my mind. Seriously, you gotta fucking leave now. Oh, look who's back. Hey, so, what, what, what did Papa say, huh? D does he love us or not? Listen, I'm sorry, but he he, he wouldn't say that he, he loves you. He, he wouldn't say it. Oh, fuck him. God, of course, typical piece of shit, asshole, deadbeat dad. You know what? We don't need him. We never did. You gave us the power to love ourselves. Actually, no, no, fuck that. It's not true. I'm lying. We, we need our dad. We need a Papa. We need him so bad. I love my dad so much, even if he hates me, I love him with all my heart. I'm bleeding over, overflowing with love, and I don't care who knows it. It's, it, it's a curse to keep loving him, such a shitty, heartless father, but I'm, 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 I'm bursting with love. I'm bursting with love, oh my god, oh, I'm like a fucking bomb that's exploding with love for my papa. Oh, I'm like a fucking bomb. What is that, oh my god, what is going on? What is that thing that's appearing? Holy shit, is that from the love that's happening? Oh my god, holy shit, I'm like a fucking... Jesus, these guys need therapy. But hey, looks like we can cross now, though. All right, we did it. Let's get this back to the goop salesman. Fix up his gooper. Ah, you're back. Look at me, the bridge of love. I know. Oh, see, you, see you later. I ain't never seen nothing like this. You're beautiful. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. I, I, I've, I've got a lot on my mind. You know, like all my friends blaming me for genocide.
Don't let me take a break, huh? my little Goopa's life. Thank you so much. It was no problem. But actually, no, it was it was really tough. Uh, but you're welcome, you know? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god. As good as new. You really saved his life. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh, that's right. He could shit his Goopa all over you. Wow, you healed him up so nice his goop's gonna last even longer than before! So you're gonna be covered in shit for such a long time! That's great! Ugh, all this fucking work just to get covered in this shit again. Wow, you look great! Real goopy, real shitty. Oh shit, okay, G3, don't forget, we're in disguise, we don't have to fight! G3 Minion, you must be here for your one free spa day. Please enjoy your stay. It's working. Hello, esteemed G3 Minion. Thank you for redeeming your one time only free spa day. Please continue forward. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Okay, this is going well. Just gotta keep our cool and sneak our way through. A guest. Please allow me to show you to a private booth. Right this way. Let's just play along. They might lead us right to Nipulon. We do hope you'll find your time here satisfactory. Remember, we're here to cater to your every need. You name a drug, we have it. Zero G, Fergals, and yes, we're now serving every type of human. We've got young teenagers if you're looking for something big, or perhaps you'll prefer the gentle high of an elder human years away from death. If you're not sure, babies are a little more heady. It's less of a body high. Basically, Whatever you're looking for, we've got it! Ah, the main atrium. You can see how much of a good time everyone is having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boot is just past here. It's Holy shit! It's so, you're so high. Hi, baby, one a couple hours ago. I swear, I can't even remember my own name. Yeah, I wish they lasted a little longer. You can suck these humans dry way too fast. Peter, yes, bring me six more humans. More babies if you got them. I like them best young and innocent. And now, <laughs> please follow me to your booth. Hey, waiter! Can I get a few more humans when I get a chance? Of course, sir. I hope you don't mind sharing your booth with another guest. We're a bit overbooked today. Sorry. Yeah, you ever try human? That shit's amazing. <sighs> oh, yeah. Look how dumb they look. All hairy and weak. You're lucky they gave you so fucking high. 
Otherwise, they'd be a waste to the species. Oh, fuck. I love seeing the light leave their eyes. Yeah, fuck this. Do what you have to do. What's wrong? What the fuck? All right, we're doing this. racing.
want to do right now is kill Nippelon and stop the G3. Everyone else can just fuck off. impression isn't mean it's it's actually kind of sweet <laughs> I won't. Nippyline will see you shortly. Just, you know, can I get you anything? Helen, well, what are you doing here? Yep, you keep killing all my bosses, so I have to keep finding new ones to work for. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat for a moment? Whew, good idea. Let's rest those legs. We got, we got something coming up here. So, uh, how much longer do we have to wait? Any minute now. We appreciate your patience, thoughts, and prayers. Hey, Kenny, you want to skip the boss fight and just give ourselves up to Nipulon? Let him kill your friends for old time's sake? Great, just what I needed. Some more time to sit and feel like shit. Uh, uh, you do understand why we're mad at you, right? Yeah, no shit, and, and, and I'm sorry. You don't think I'm sorry? Guys, not in front of Helen. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I love overhearing stuff. I call it the Erie Canal. <laughs> I don't know what I need to do to prove myself to everyone, but I'm sorry for my part in how things played out. I suffered too. I'm still suffering. Ugh, save the waterworks. Let's just stop the G3, and then we'll never have to see each other again. No holidays, no celebrations, no birthdays, no anniversaries, nothing! That's not what we want! It's what I want.
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Understood. Okay, Nipulon will see you now. Again. Have fun. Oh, God. He fucking dosed us. Hey, kid. It's me, Normal Gene. Nothing weird or freaky going on. Come over here. I got some. I've been meaning to ask you. Why are you doing all this? Don't you get it, kid? There's no hope for you. You're gonna end up just like me. Probably gonna lose your legs, too. I used to be something. Now look at me. Don't fool yourself, kid. This is your future. You're just Gene 2.0, and you're going straight down the drain like I did. You really think so? That's what I used to think too, kid. I thought I was invincible. Bounty hunter. Sounds like such a cool job. But really, you're just a glorified garbage man working freelance to take out the trash for anyone willing to pay. Risking your body. For what, kid? So you can lose your legs and find yourself all alone with no one to help you pick up the pieces because you killed everyone you ever met? Does that sound good to you? Maybe, sure. Fine, that's a good point. Okay, you got me there. You conquered this part of your drug trip. Good work. All right, go make sure you save the world and then if you suffer, it'll be fine. I guess. Is that the uh, moral here? All right, see you later, kid. I think we need to go deeper. You're mad humans are just drugs to be shipped around and sold off? Well, that's how things work, moron! It's the circle of life! We're just making the best of it. Be mad at evolution, not us! Yep, it's me again! <laughs> All of me. Why are there so many if you like? One's gotta be real. How deep are you? Don't worry. I'll kill you before it gets too bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see how many hours you logged in Fortnite or uh, Minecraft. Do you play those games? I'm trying to do a sort of psychosis thing, but I can't really access your plate. Uh, let's just say you played 90 hours of Rocket League. 
Wow. Quite the auto sports. Yeah. Which one's the real me? What? Does one of me move a little differently or something? Or maybe one of me is partly discolored? There's no way to know! How will you figure it out? It's a mystery. Hey, can we finish this up? I gotta go rub elbows with whatever passes for an elbow down there. Up. I gotta show face with all the big wigs downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I have a two o'clock. <laughs> oh, you got me. Big deal. Let's say you tackle another round of combat with your inner demons. Oh, oh, since Lizzie's here. Hey, idiot. You need to come talk to me, or mom and dad are gonna be pissed. Do you really think you're doing this to save humanity? You do realize you're just playing the hero, right? Everyone else is dying, but you get to run around space with your little toys, pretending to be the savior of the universe. You're not a hero. You're selfish. This is all about you. Yeah, no shit. This is all a power fantasy for some fuck-up kid. Every dumb, pulpy sci-fi movie is about badass space bounty hunters. So you thought, sure, that sounds fun. That's what I'll do. This isn't about saving anyone. You just want to have fun. You didn't do anything with your life, and now you want to play pretend hero. Well, guess what? It might actually be working. I mean, I don't know anyone else who's doing anything to stop the G3. This might actually be, it might be the right thing for you to do. Oh my god. You! You really are humanity's only hope, aren't you? Fuck. Another hole. What, what is this? The, the, the hit indie game Donut County? Which I highly recommend if you're playing this right now. But, you know, pick it up. It's, only, it's sometimes on sale. How you doing? Need some motivation to keep going? How about an award? Here, take this one that says you spent all your in-game playtime at an alien strip club. Oh, that's permanent, by the way. Everyone on your friends list can see that forever now. How are you holding up? Facing some dark truths? Maybe things are a little confusing? Well, I'll make it clear for you. You're our product! And I'm helping you learn your place. More Nipulons, they're everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Hey, here's a hack for you. Switch to the other controller port and you won't be able to hurt me. <laughs> Just kidding. There aren't any controller ports anymore. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, you let me smoke you now. You're screwed. Was that even the real me? God, you're really having a rough go of it. How much longer can you hold on to your sanity? Looks like you're having enough trouble just keeping your little band of hero guns together. Where, where, where did everyone go? Bounty hunter, where you at, buddy? Oh, fuck my head. Oh, bounty hunter! I'm literally so happy to see you again. You have no idea. I was for real freaking out. About time. How'd you even manage without me, huh? There's my buddy. There we are. I was on the fence for a minute there, but deep down I knew you wouldn't leave me behind. Oh my god, you found me! I was freaking out! I, I was worried! I was worried I'd lost you! Oh, great! 
Another blank void. How the hell do we get out of this? I... Kenny, 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 what is it now? I... I don't know. Oh, Kenny. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry I let everyone down. I, I was selfish and stupid, and I beat myself up for it every single day, and I'm so glad I found all of you because you've given me reason to live again. Oh, Kenny. Well, don't get all mushy about it. I just, I just, I just want to make things right. You can. We all can. Well, to be honest, I'd given up on everything before you guys came along. Before I found all of you. But now we're a team. And we're unstoppable. God damn it. He's right. You you mean you mean it? Yeah, dumbass. We've all made mistakes. I mean, not Kenny level planet-wide genocide mistakes, but we've all made mistakes. And there is no way we're letting your big, big fucking mistake keep us from taking down the G3. So let's kick some fucking ass together. Yeah, that sounds good. Everything they just said sounded really good and smart. I love you all so much. You're the first real family I've ever had. Except for my little kids I spawned and shoot at bad guys. And the family I probably had before the G3 fucked with my brain and ruined all my memories. Let's do this, bounty hunter, as a family! Thanks, everyone. Let's fucking do this. All right, that's it. I'm gonna erase all your game data now. I can do that, it's easy. You'll have to start all over. Here we go. You ready? Okay, did that work? No? Shit, you're still here? I don't actually know how to do that. Never mind, forget this. What are you doing? You're supposed to be spiraling into darkness, not growing stronger. This shouldn't be happening. I don't do the real dark shit. Don't you can't handle it. Stop fighting back. It's supposed to be darker than me. Don't tell me. You so Okay, we're back. I think we're back. That was a lot. Is, is everyone okay? It, it looks like we really killed him, at least. He's, he's dead. I'm doing like Kenny. I feel bad. And, I, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love you guys. Okay, the Earth coordinate should be logged in here somewhere. Fuck <laughs> yeah, Biatch, we got him. Oh, okay. All right, I'm good. Let, let's let's cut a nipple off. Let's do it. No, no, no! Wrong wire. Wrong wire. Shit. Careful, you old bag of shit. You've already messed up everything else in your life. You don't want to mess this up, too. No, shut up. Like you'll want to talk after your little Winnebago honeymoon. Hey, kid, we got this covered. Go turn in your bounty. Whoa, be, be, be careful with him. Real smooth, Gene. That's supposed to happen. I know. I meant that sincerely. I just don't know actually how to be nice to you. Gene almost killed your super gun all over again. Don't listen to her. I'm about to do some real Frankenstein shit here. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to look him in the eye. <sighs> That's fine. I think we accidentally severed his optic nerves earlier. What are you staring at, dork? Oh, yeah, right. Me and Gene, best buds, we had a real bonding moment a little while ago when I was helping him stuff a bag of dicks down his throat. Yeah, dream on, kid. I hope your sister gets space chlamydia. Wow, yeah, no, they're, they're getting along. All right, almost got it. Stand back, everyone. Here we go. Is he? Wait for it. Let's do it. Les, is that, is that you? Let's do it. Oh. I might have fucked up his speech centers, too. Let's do it! Let's do it! Talk to me! Let's do it! 
So what, all he can say is his name? This is sad. Listen, everything else I did was perfect. He can shoot, he can think, he can shit, he just can't talk right. But he's all in there, right? Like, he knows who I am? Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry, I... Let's do it. I, I can't believe I didn't have to tell everybody what I did. Are you kidding, are you kidding me right now? Fuck off, kitty! Kenny. Fuck off! What? What? I And I'm happy to see my friend, okay? Fuck! See, I'm not the worst scumbag here. Wow, this is really it, huh? Let's do it! You got the Earth coordinates, right? It's time for your final mission. Hey, kid. Looks like we made a pretty good team. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> This might be the end of the line, so make sure you finish up everything you wanted to do before we head back to Earth. You, uh, ready to go? You bet, kid. Take all the time you need. Just say the word, and it's yours. I think you'll be happy with that. Looks like we made a pretty good team. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> this might be the end of the line, so make sure you finish up everything you wanted to do before we head back to Earth. You, uh, ready to go? All right then, you're gonna need Les Do It. All right, Let's Do It, we got this. Let's do it. Let's walk this house back to Earth. Let's do it. Okay, dude, we get it. Let's do it. to look outside. Hey kid, before you go, come talk to me. I got one last thing. Once you step out of the house, we're gonna warp away to safety until the deed is done. That means you'll be on your own. No, not alone. The power of Gatlas will be on uh, at our side. Yeah, no shit. We know that. I'm just, uh, God, it was just a figure of speech, Kenny. Look, our mantua is, is tough. We might not be able to beat him even with Lesdorit. So, if push comes to shove, use this. What is it? A remote atomizer bomb. Intel says Garmantuas has thick skin like armor, but if you can get this inside him somehow, then trigger it remotely? Well, let's just say his guts should still be easy to fuck up. This'll blow him up for good. Y you really think we're gonna need that? I don't know. Just don't want you to die. You're happy now? Happy that you forced me to admit I give a shit? Just take it. This thing was hard as hell to find. Thanks, Gene. You know, we, we, we care about you, too. Okay, cool. Fuck off. Good luck. You got this. Good luck. Don't you dare fucking die on me. We'll be waiting to celebrate with you and- Holy shit, this is... This is awful! But, but there's still time to go!
how's everyone feeling? We're, we're almost there. D d d there's no time for feelings. Let's just focus on killing Gamantuas. Yeah, not the time for chit-chat, Kenny. Oh, come on, you're not still... Manager, look, it's complicated. kind of mad still, yeah. Yes, it's complicated. We all love you, Kenny. It's, 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 it's complicated. Like I said the first time, it's complicated. Well, we had that powerful shared drug experience together, and we, we, we learned so much about ourselves and, and working together. Look, and Kenny, we, we... there's a lot of shit to work through here. We're not going to solve it in one drug trip. Maybe we did, though. You know we're here with you, Kenny. You're, you're, you're practically family, and, and we mostly only have each other. But it's not that easy. Yeah, so let's just kill Garmantuas and see where things go from there. We'll completely forgive you after we kill Garmantuas, Kenny. Creature, that's not true. But if not... Not true. Okay, I, I get it. Let, let, let's just do this. Let's do it! And I'm here too! Knifey! Your friend! Remember me? Another pipe? What the fuck? This is lazy. This is just lazy game development. This is lazy level design. I'm calling it out. Taco, Polygon. Yeah, IGN, all of you, you got her very, dock us down a couple points. She, another Sweezy fan. You know, she is ruined. <laughs> I mean, let's do it! Okay, give it to me straight, guys. Do you really think we can beat Garmantuous? With let's do it? Yes, big time. He fucks shit up. We're unstoppable. Is right. We can! We can do this! I hope so. I just don't I don't wanna let everybody down again. Hi there! I'm just glad I can help too. Let's do it! See, I'm still pretty handy, huh? This is it, it's him. <laughs> so, bounty hunter, friends, are you ready to fucking die? What? No, we're not gonna die? Wasn't I clear? What do you see, a fucking diagram? I told you you don't have a chance against me. You're gonna fucking die. I'm really fucking strong. And you killed all my men! You fucking my operation! You trespassed on my territory! You understand why I'm going to fucking kill you, right? Well, listen, I understand what you're saying here, but... We're gonna fucking kill you, Garbage! Let me stop you now, so even a little tiny baby can understand. I'm going to kill K-I-L-L-E, forget the E, you! You're my property. You're my province. I control you. You really don't understand how the world works. You think I'm evil, but... No buts, no if is or buts, dude. You're evil. You're like cut and dry evil. I don't know you're capable of viewing things from your childish perspective. No, 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 no. It's from everybody's perspective. No one has an opposite perspective of you. You're the evil guy. You're just evil. You're just naive. You're evil, Garmantuous. You're evil, and we're gonna kill you. Hello, I'm Creature. I can't believe you won't even let me monologue. Come in, alien genocide multiple times. Why would you let me monologue? Because I've got to do it so many times. I'm so good at it. Oh, they plus monologue. You're letting it slip past me because you can't shut your trap. Oh, 
Fuck you! Take this! Chance. We have to shove that bomb inside of him. Yes, okay, deep, a little deeper. There we go. Okay, yeah, shove that bomb all the way up his asshole into his intent or whatever's up there. Okay, that should be good. Now pull out and let's blow this fucker up. It's time for the G3 to become the G0. Suck my ass. Okay, what's wrong? Is, 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 is it broken? God damn it, Gene, the remote's busted? Oh, shit. Oh, hello. You're fucking done. Now it's time to make you really suffer. Let's make a deal. If you give up and turn yourself over to me, then I won't harm the two people you love most in this world. Fuck, he's got your parents. Behold! Uh, hey, it's me, Jack Black. Hi, I'm Susan Sarandon. D do we know you? Huh? Uh, are those your parents? Parents? What, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think the bounty hunter even knows these people. Yeah, we don't. But it's so nice to meet you. So what? You don't love these two? Because every human I asked said they loved them. Well, yeah, everyone loves us. I'm sorry, bounty hunter. I'm sure your parents are still out there somewhere, you know? They're alive. I, I, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, bounty hunter. Enough fucking around. Let's finish this. I know a way to detonate it. I knew you'd figure it out, Kenny! I'll go inside of his asshole, and I'll detonate it manually. Oh, that's not good. Kenny, that would mean... Yeah, I know. Kenny, we're not letting you do that, okay? There's gotta be another way. Can you think of anything? Actually, no. I can't. I guess this is the only way. You're gonna blow both yourselves up? Kenny, you might die. I... I know. Hey, bounty hunter, fighting alongside you has been... Well, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you for giving me the adventure of a lifetime. 
Now shove me deep inside that monster slug's dirty asshole. Kenny! I want to do this. I, I need to do this. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess this is goodbye. You're the best bounty hunter I've ever seen. And you're an even better friend. See you later, pal. I'll always be with you, and I love you. Oh, 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 shit, it's done! Comanche is dead! He's fucking dead! Rest in peace, fucker. Good work, bounty hunter! What about... There's no way they could have survived that. What a noble sacrifice. I can't believe it. No fucking way! Oh my god, they survived! They made it! Let's do it! I'm... I'm alive? Is Garmantuous dead? We owe you big time. The whole universe owes you. Now you're a fucking hero. I'm so glad you made it. We did it! Holy shit, kid! You really did it! Garmantuous is dead! Well, uh, just so you know, everything's kinda just gonna be the same for a bit. News takes a while to travel. There's still gonna be G3 guys to fight everywhere. But, uh, good job! <laughs> Seriously. I guess, uh, now that you've saved the galaxy, I should probably remove the self-destruct trigger I installed in your suit. It was a failsafe in case you didn't die, but now I like you, so I'd be sad if you died. And I'm also legitimately scared of you. Huh, so your civilization had computers at least, that's good. I really wasn't sure how primitive you were. I still can't believe you really pulled it off. I hope that doesn't sound rude. I mean, you get it, right? It was a real long shot. You really didn't seem like hero material when we first met. You're gonna tell people I helped you, right? You gotta make sure people know I was part of this. I mean, if, if you want to. It's, it's, it's not my place to convince you to do the right thing and not throw your closest ally under the bus. <laughs> 